Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Let me talk to you about the topic of mirrors in feng shui. It's quite an extensive topic and there's a lot of beliefs out there that are not entirely true and that can be quite confusing. Now, a lot of people believe that you need to put a mirror um, at your window or at your door to reflect out negative energies. Now, if you think about this logically, you have to realize that a mirror is just a mirror. A mirror cannot distinguish or separate between positive energies and negative energies. A mirror will simply reflect everything that is there. So if you have a mirror at your main door, believing that it reflects negative energies away from your flat, away from your door, then you will also have to believe that it reflects everything else away. So therefore, it is not exactly something that we use in Chinese metaphysics or in, in classical feng shui in general, because it's simply not true. You can have your mirror at the door, that's perfectly fine. And in fact, a lot of us have a mirror at the door because we want to check what we look like before we leave the house. But it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with feng shui. A mirror cannot tell the difference between good and bad. It will just reflect everything. So if you have a mirror at the door, leave it there. You don't need to be afraid that um, all the good stuff is going to be reflected away as well. It's just a mirror. A mirror is a mirror. It doesn't do anything in classical feng shui and definitely not at the door. Now, another belief says that you should have a mirror behind your dining table so that you will never run out of food. And the thinking behind that theory is that your uh, dining table will have food on it and that food is then reflected in the mirror, multiplied in the mirror, and therefore you will never run out of food. Now, this is a lovely concept, but if you think about it, um, just think about how many hours a day does your dining table actually have food on it? Yeah, a lot of the times maybe we work on our ta dining table, at our dining table, many times our children actually do their homework at the dining table. Sometimes you argue at the dining table, yeah, everything is reflected in that mirror and a lot of times it's not actually food that is being reflected. So I would say out of the 24 hours that we have in a day, maybe two, maximum three hours, we actually have food on that table. And so the rest of the times it is nothing. And therefore, again, if we buy into that theory that everything that is reflected in the mirror will amplify and multiply in our lives, we may not end up with what we actually want or what we intended this mirror to do. So again, I would say if you want to have a mirror there just because it's nice yeah, and it fits into the interior design of your flat, by all means have a mirror there, but it doesn't do anything from a feng shui perspective. So again, please uh, feel free to put a mirror anywhere you want. Now, another theory uh, revolves around mirrors in bedrooms. And there again, it's being said that mirrors in bedrooms are very, very bad. It's bad feng shui. We shouldn't have them there. Now, it's not actually bad feng shui. Again, you can put a mirror anywhere you want. It's just a mirror. Uh, it's just a tool you use in your household. Um, when it comes to the bedroom, there is a very rational explanation that is given in feng shui why we do not want to have a mirror there. And that is because if you have a mirror there in the bedroom and you get up at night and because you know your bedroom and your house so well, you don't necessarily turn on the lights when you get up to go to the bathroom. You may just get up, you stumble around in the dark, but maybe there's a little bit of light coming in through the curtains or somewhere. And uh, you then may get startled because you see your own reflection, but only as a shadow in the mirror yeah and so you scare yourself 
and from a feng shui perspective that is not great yeah or just generally from a human perspective you don't want to scare yourself so this is why we don't advocate for mirrors in bedrooms but it doesn't necessarily have any negative effect there's no negative energies coming to you if you have a mirror in the bedroom not at all it's a very very practical reason why we don't advocate for it but of course you can have one there and then just be aware that you may uh, catch yourself off guard if you see yourself reflected in the middle of the night. So mirrors are not something bad. Put them anywhere you want, don't be scared and uh, don't associate too many feng shui meanings to a mirror when there are none. So that's my very practical advice when it comes to mirrors. If you would like to know more about this, or any other of the beliefs that are out there when it comes to feng shui, please feel free to get in touch with me. My contact details are in the notes below.